Coming up on Around Kern County, cooling centers are now open for the summer. What you need to know about when and where you can chill out. And you can spend your summer adding a new member to your family. Why it's important now more than ever to adopt from our animal shelter when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. During this week's board meeting, supervisors declared June as Elder Abuse Awareness Month. Our Kern County Department of Aging and Adult Services is championing this important awareness campaign and encouraging our community to know the signs. Elder abuse is significantly underreported, and for every case known to programs and agencies, 24 are unknown. Thankfully, in Kern County, the light shines bright through your board and our Commission on Aging. To the various county departments, such as the District Attorney's Office, Sheriff's Office, Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, Public Health Veterans, Department of Human Services, Libraries, Probation, and all the other county departments I may have missed. Okay. <laughs> um, it is through this collaborative effort and ongoing efforts to educate that we will continue to protect the seniors and dependent adults in our community and restore respect, dignity, and bring justice for all. Elder abuse can be physical, mental, neglect, self-neglect, abandonment, and financial abuse, among others. And the most common perpetrators are usually those that are known to the victim. To raise awareness, our county administrative building is lit purple this month, the color of abuse recognition. And Aging and Adult Services, along with other county departments and community partners, is spending the month educating the public about how to spot and report abuse. First, in an emergency, call 911. And to report cases of abuse, call Adult Protective Services or the Long-Term Care Ombudsman. You can also call a 24-hour hotline at 800-277-7866 or 661-868-1006. For more information, please visit Aging and Adult Services website at kerncounty.com or call 661-868-1006. Kern County cooling centers are officially open for the summer. As temperatures rise, you can beat the heat in a location near you. During these warmer months, cooling centers provide a safe haven for people at risk of extreme heat. They're run by our Kern County Department of Aging and Adult Services and funded through a grant from PG&E. Cooling centers are open from 1 in the afternoon until 8 in the evenings if temperatures reach certain thresholds across our county. If you're heading out to one of these open locations, be sure to bring snacks, games, and books. And if you need transportation to a cooling center, just call 211. To access our cooling center dashboard, which is updated daily, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. And for more information, you can call Aging and Adult Services at 800-510-2020. As temperatures heat up and we spend more time outdoors, Kern County Public Health wants to make sure we protect ourselves from mosquitoes. Warmer weather brings increased mosquito activity and risk for mosquito-borne diseases, which have already been detected here in Kern County. You can reduce mosquito breeding around your home by removing standing water from containers such as flower pots, fountains, bird baths, pet bowls, and wading pools cleaning out containers that collect water weekly to remove any potential mosquito eggs, maintaining swimming pools in working condition, stocking garden ponds with fish that eat mosquito larvae, and reporting areas of mosquito infestation to your local vector control district. You're also encouraged to avoid mosquito infested areas at all times and wear long sleeve shirts and long pants when outdoors. You should also apply mosquito repellent to expose skin when outdoors and ensure you have screens on the doors and windows of your home. For more information and other safety tips, please visit Kern County Public Health's website at kernpublichealth.com. And even though we're talking about how to protect yourself this summer, you can still apply for assistance if you were impacted by the early spring storms. Anna Marie Odo has more. 
If your property or business experienced damage due to severe flooding that took place in our county earlier this year, or you simply have been impacted in other ways, there's still time to get some help. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, has extended their deadline an additional 45 days for renters and homeowners to apply for disaster assistance. All you have to do is visit their website at disasterassistance.gov, download the FEMA mobile app, or call FEMA at 800-621-3362. The deadline to apply is now July 20th, 2023. For more information on flood resources or health safety tips, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. There's nothing quite like the love felt from your pet, and you can make a difference by choosing one from our Kern County Animal Shelter. Right now, animal shelters across the country are experiencing nearly double the amount of dogs in their shelters compared to 2021. This is being heavily felt right here in Kern County where our shelters have more animals coming in than leaving. Our director of animal services is asking for the community's help to ease shelter intake. What we want to do is bring your pet back to you. Uh, so it's more important than ever to be a responsible pet owner. Every animal that comes into the shelter is at risk. They're at risk of being put through traumatic experience and stress and trauma. And so when you, when you adopt a shelter dog, you're literally saving their life. Not only are you saving a life, um, but we like to believe that some of the animals that are adopted out of the animal shelter know that they were adopted out of an animal shelter. So it's just an all-around good experience for the pet, for the family, and you know you're doing something good for the community. To see all current animals available for adoption, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.